Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the 2.8-inch TFT Touch LCD 3 Driver IC specification. Okay, before we um, write the code to driver the Touch LCD, we need to study the driver IC specification. Okay, so for this LCD, the uh, driver IC specification is this one. So this is the driver IC, ILI9341, okay? So this driver IC, uh, it can, uh, the, the resolution is 240 by 320, okay? The color will be the 262K color, okay? For this driver IC, um, the specification is over 200 page, over 200 page. So what's the most important part for our driver, for our module, for our LCD module, okay? So um, let's take a look. The so first things we will take a look at the feature. Okay. Second thing we will take a look at the pin description. Okay. Next we will discuss a little bit the MCU interface. For our module we use the uh, A0 A01 parallel interface is 16B. Okay, 16B data bus communication. So we will check with this four part, okay? So next, we will take a look at the display data format. For this part is 16B parallel MCU interface. So we needed to understand the data format so we can uh, program our code, okay? We can write our code according to the correct data format and then the LCD will be know uh, what you want want it to do okay so this is uh, display data format and the next we will uh, so this part is all the command description is all the command command description when you and then uh, when you want to know for example this command what's the meaning about it you can you can check it check it with this uh, description but for our driver uh, the, f the um, so if you buy a LCD module uh, you will usually you will get a list of the command for the initial for, for the initial sequence to driver the LCD okay um, so if you don't understand uh, what's the command for and then you can check it with this but for our driver the more important things is here so it's a reset we needed to understand the reset timing to driver the LCD. And also, we needed to understand the timing, okay? For our uh, situation, we use the 16B interface. So we will, we will check a little bit about this part, okay? So the most important part is this uh, one, two, um, okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. So the first things, let's take a look at the uh, feature. Uh, page seven. The feature. Okay. The feature. The first thing is uh, resolution. So it's quite good for this LCD driver. And the second thing is uh, support different 
system interface, system interface. So like the um, different bit, 8 bit, 9 bit, 16 bit, and 80 bit. For this, uh, uh, this MCU, okay. So for one FPGA, if you use more uh, bits to drive the LCD, it means the display, uh, it will display the picture or any other things will be faster and you can get a better display result, okay? And then the second interface is the RGB interface. You can use one graphic controller to control it, okay? Another uh, interface is uh, use a three line or four line Shiro interface. It is a SPI interface. For our module, it is already fixed. It's 16, 60, 16 bits, okay? And the next things it will be the display more, okay? Four color, four color more. And, uh, and the reduce color more, okay? Another important thing is this one. Okay, is this one. Is the power supply okay? Is the power supply support from 2.5 to 3.3 watt okay? So, uh, for most uh, MCU and uh, micro con and the FPGA system, we can support the 3.3 watt okay? Okay, so this is a feature. This is a feature. The so next things, let's take a look here. The next things will be the pin description is uh, 10, page 10. So this is a pin description and uh, it describes the uh, driver I see all the pin. And so, but we didn't use all the pin for our uh, LCD module. Uh, take a look at our LCD module, the pin description, the pin. So this is a reset pin, and this is CS, this is RS, this is write, this is read, this is all the data pin, it's all the data pin from 0 to 15, is 16B, okay, is 16B, and this is for the power supply, and this is ground power supply, and this is for the um, backlog, okay. LCD backlight, LED, okay. So this, uh, for light, the, uh, the LED light on the module, okay. This is for the uh, touch. This is for the touch. And this is for the uh, more selection, okay. So let's take a look at our um, driver ICs for the description what kind of pin we need to uh, pay attention, okay? So the first things you will see here, so this is uh, select what kind of uh, um, interface you will use for your system. So, so you can connect, for example, this pin to the power, then connect all other pin to the ground, it will select the communication MCU interface is 16B bus interface, okay? So um, this is for the uh, communication interface more, choose which, choose which more, okay? So for our module is here. For our module, we just use one uh, pin, one pin to connect the, the uh, voltage and all other pin to connect to the, to connect to the ground. So which is this one? Which is this one? Okay. So next, so this is a reset. This is reset. This is CS. Reset CS is CS is 
chip select input pin. Okay. This is a uh, uh, SCL. SCL is for the share data inter interface. Okay. This is for read. This is for read. This is for write. This is for date. The date from 0 to 17 is 8B, 18B, okay? But we just use uh, 16 of it, 16 of it. And this is uh, uh, share out. This pin, this kind of pin, we didn't use it. So for the LCD module, we didn't. Uh, the LCD module didn't wire it out. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is for the RGB interface. Okay, let's continue. Okay, this is some other pins here. And uh, some other pins here. Let's continue for the MCU interface. The MCU interface is 26. So this is the MCU interface, okay? Uh, for our for our module, we use uh, uh, this one, MCU 16B bus interface, okay? So here, it described how we uh, how we write command, how we how we read data. Okay, so take a look here. So this is a right cycle sequence. So it's very important. It tell us we change the data here. We change the data here on the following edge of the right signal, on the following edge of the right signal, we change the data and keep the data stable from here to here. On the right edge of the right signal, on the right rising edge of the right signal, the LCD will read all the data. It means the FPGA or MCU will write the data into the LCD at this position. Okay? It will write the LCD at this position. Write the data into LCD at this position. And we, we prepare the data at this position. Okay? This is the most important thing for the writing. So here, it tells us how we uh, write our data. So the first things we will keep the CS signal as low level. It's always as low level to select the chip. And the reset signal is high level. It's always high level. And for the DC signal, the low level is to is for write command. The high level is for the write data. Okay. So this is for command address. Is this one? And this this is high level is for data. Is for command data. The so-called command address, which is uh, reduced, okay, is the reduced address. The so-called command data is the reduced value, which means what kind of data we need to write into this reduced, okay? So this is for the, uh, for the write signal, for the write processing, okay? So at this moment, so here, this is, uh, this is host. This is the host, which is your MCU or your FPGA. 
This is LCD. So we send out the register on the data bus, and then we send out the reduced value on the data bus at this position. At this position, the DC is high level. At this position, the DC is low level. Okay? So this is for the write. Let's take a look at the read. Okay. The read. At this position, the LCD will prepare data. Okay. It's not MCU, not FPGA. It's the LCD prepare the data. It will keep stable during this period. And the MCU will read the data here. The MCU or the FPGA will read the data at this position on the rising edge. On the rising edge. This is the following edge. Okay? So let's take a look at other signal, how we read the data. Okay? So this is the CS signal. CS signal is low level effect. Low level effect. Uh, the reset signal is always keep high level. The reset signal is always keep high level. And this is uh, this is uh, DC DC signal. On the low level means we uh, means we write the uh, reduced. We reduced address okay so we write the reduced and it's the host to write it is the MCU or FPGA send out the data send out the reduced address okay is command so here we send since we are sent out so this is the right this is the right uh, processing FPGA or MCU will write the reduced into the LCD first. And then we will generate the clock on the read signal. Generate the clock on the read signal. You notice here, generate the clock on the read signal. The first data is invalid. The second data is valid, okay? These two data is the LCD sent to the host. Is the LCD sent to the host. LCD sent to MCU or FPGA, okay? So this data is MCU or FPGA sent to LCD. And these two data is the LCD Feedback, feedback data is to the feedback to the MCU or FPGA. When when the when the LCD write data, we use the write signal. When the LCD, uh, when we read data, MCU read data, we use the read signal. Okay, we use the read signal to read the data out. We use the write signal to write data into the LCD. Okay, so this is the read and write signal uh, processing for the uh, LCD. So this is very important for our uh, programming. Okay. So next, we will take a look at the uh, display data format, which is uh, sixteen. Is this one okay? So we needed to understand the data format to, for the uh, for the for the coding. So this is for three nice share interface. It's not our folks. We take a look here. So we our uh, our our module is use 16B. Okay, so this is our uh, data format. So it's here. For the 16B data, for the 16B data, if we write command, 
if we write the reduced address, we need to put the reduced address on the lower 8B. On the lower 8B, okay? This is very important. It's not higher 8B. It's the lower 8B because it's 16B data bus. We put it on the lower 8B. For the data, for the data is 16B data. So we use the RGB56 file format. Is RGB565 format. The meaning is we use 5B for red, we use 6B for green, we use 5B for blue. So this one, so this part is 5B, and this part is 6B, and this part is the is the 5B blue. This is blue, green, and red, and this is the lowest B, data 0, and this is the highest B, data 15. Okay, so we have to send out all the color data according to this format, and the LCD will be uh, display the correct red, green, and blue. Otherwise, it can cannot describe the the color. Okay, so this is also very important for our coding. Okay, so next next we will be uh, discuss a little bit about the timing. The timing is here. Uh, the the reset. Next will be the reset. The reset is here. So this is the reset. This is the reset. The most important things uh, is here. The most important thing is here is the reset timing. Okay. Uh, we need to pay attention for this one. If we reset short than five microseconds, the reset will reject. Longer than ten microseconds, it will reset the system. Between the five microsecond and ten microsecond, the reset starts. Okay? So it's here. The the picture is very clear. So it need for the reset signal, it need greater than 10 microseconds, then the reset will be accepted. Okay, for this, for these, uh, these seconds, positive spike will be uh, reject. Okay, so we cannot reset less than this one. Okay, less than five microseconds. So this is for the reset system, for the reset signal, we need to know, okay, we need to know. And the last things will be the timing, the timing is here. Okay, so this is the timing. The most important thing we need to, we need to know the right cycle. The write cycle is 66 nanosecond. The read cycle, uh, the read has different read. You will see here the read cycle, this one read is 450 nanosecond. And for this one read is this second. And for this one read is this second. And for the read ID, the timing is also different. So wh what we need to do is to use the maximum uh, read. Maybe it's the 400, 450 nanosecond to read the uh, data. We will be guaranteed you read out all the data. Okay. Also, you need to uh, 
you need to keep the read cycle is over this nanosecond. This is the minimum required. There is no anything about the maximum required. So you must grade than this uh, nanosecond. For example, the uh, 100 megahertz is uh, 100 megahertz is 10 nanoseconds. So you need to make the clock running for 10 times, which is 100 nanoseconds. Will be good enough for the writing cycle, for the write cycle. Okay, so this is the uh, um, most important part for the driver IC specification. We need to understand. Uh, we need to understand it, and then we can program our software to drive it. Okay, so this is for this video, and I'm Michael. See you next time.